Hi again, as you can see I'm back at TechCon and today I thought I'd take you along for a little behind the scenes look at what we've been up to. Right at the entrance we have this lovely photo wall with pictures of all my amazing colleagues. It's such a nice way to start the day. I love seeing all those friendly faces when I walk in. So I headed upstairs to get my day started, said hi to the team and then Anton showed up with some exciting news. He told me there is a black oxidizing project coming up. And of course, I said, let's go check it out. Time to head down to the workshop. Down in the workshop, I found a piece that we are going to black oxidize. It looked rough, uneven and honestly not great. But painting it isn't an option. Why? Because paints can make the part just a tiny bit thicker. And even a tiny bit can mess up with the fit when everything needs to be super precise. That's why we use black oxidizing instead. But first, we sandblast the piece to clean it up. This big machine blows sand across the surface really fast to smooth it and get rid of any dirt or uneven spots. And look at that, it already looks so much better. Then I walked over to the black oxidizing room and met up with him. You know who I'm talking about, the one we jokingly call the creepy scientist. No one knows his real name, but he always appears when it's black oxidizing time. And he definitely knows what he's doing. He has four big buckets. The first one is black oxidized bath, where he puts the piece in and lets it sit for a few minutes. During that time, he just waits. Then he flips the part to make sure both sides are treated evenly and gives it a few more minutes. Next up, rinsing time. The piece goes through two water buckets to wash off the chemicals. And the final step, a relaxing bath in a bucket of oil. The part soaks in there for about 10 minutes. While we are waiting, creepy scientist is being himself. The oil bath helps seal the surface and gives it even more protection. After that, the part goes into a basket to drain for an hour, so all the extra oil can drip off. Then he gives it a quick wipe and ta-da, it's done and it looks great, shiny, even and totally ready to use. Here you can see it all put together as part of the final product, a reaction bar that's now ready for action. Thanks for hanging out with me today and watching the process. I'll be back soon with another behind the scenes look. Until then, don't forget, Tekon is the best at screw tightening solutions.